Living with the Mundari tribe. The Mundari are a small ethnic group of South Sudan and part of the Karo people, which are one of the Nilotic peoples. They are known for putting ash in the face and their passage to adulthood is completed with V-scars into the forehead. They say I'm Mundari now, I think. Yeah. Mundari. Mundari men take up wrestling as a serious hobby from a very young age and even the kids are practicing the wrestling skills and they are regularly organizing wrestling competitions. Wrestling is so important here. The ongoing war in South Sudan has cut off the Mundari tribe from the rest of the world. They don't venture into the town and it's why their unique way of life endures. The traditional Mundari tribal lands are located roughly 75 kilometers north of Juba, the capital of South Sudan, and are centered on the town of Terekeka in the state of central Equatoria. It was a long and difficult way getting there, but after hours of searching and crossing water, we managed to find the Mundaris. This was the place I was going to live with them. The Mundari, like other Nilotic tribes, are very cattle oriented. What do people uh, like to eat here? Huh? Milk. Milk and portion. Any kind of meat or they eat the sheep? Sheep and when they die, they don't kill. Yeah. Yeah, they don't kill for meat. Only when they're sick and... Yeah, only when they're sick. Cattle serves as food, a form of currency and a mark of status. They use everything they can from the cow and both drink the milk or eat it like yogurt or porridge. Oh, very hot. <laughs> Milk is perhaps one of the most important things in the Mundari tribe. It's a very, very big part of uh, the meals and the nutrition. I've honestly never had better tasting milk than here. Served straight from the cattle, which are kings of the cattle with their massive horns. Energy tea. Energy. We're coming like Mundari very soon. It's actually really the best milk I've tried because it's so fresh and it just comes out immediately ready. I feel so powerful with this. Next step was becoming like a real Mundari man. <laughs> For me to you. Me to you. <laughs> their guns here are not to kill anyone, but it's to protect their herd. They will die for their cattle. Their famous massive horn and Koliwatsuzi cattle are considered the kings of the cattle. And I have rarely seen such scenic moments when thousands of these came walking together through the African countryside at sunset. Mind blowing. It's hard to overstate the importance of the cattle to the Mundari people. These animals are everything to them. And each one of the Mundari tribe has their own personal favorite cow. They have a true bond together with their animals. The Mundaris are massaging their animals twice a day. The ash from dung fires, as fine as talcum powder, is rubbed into the cattle skin and used as bedding while on a mental tassel swat flies from the eyes of the herd's most prestigious beasts. All very healthy cows. Mundari people are relaxed people. They like to sit and talk, play games with each other. Or get physical, play ball games that they made themselves out of the materials they have. The kids learn from an early age what hard work is and they help cleaning the camp or help taking care of the small babies and all the animals. Go stop. Go stop. Yeah. The number one mission for the Mondari people is to look after their cattle, which are so important for their survival and well-being. I got stuck, but no problem. That's life. I think he wants my GoPro. One cow, maybe? One cow? I don't think you can get it. I don't think you can get it.
That he cannot give a cow for <laughs> Marriages are arranged by the prospective groom offering cattle to the bride's family. And husbands may take as many wives as they can support. When the people here are chilling out, men sit together at one right. fireplace. Smoke. Yeah. Talking or putting ash in the face while the women are sitting together at the other place. Cooking, cleaning or taking care of the babies. Ashes are then used as a natural antiseptic to protect the skin of the people and cows from insects and the sun. Mundari men are known to bathe their hair in cow urine, giving it a yellow-orange color. When you live with Mundaris like I did, you need your daily shower, and I didn't hold back during my days here. Two times my hair had the pleasure of some decent cow urine, which is much better than the head and shoulders back at home. Yes. Man, fresh! Fresh out of South Sudan. The Mundari also drink it in the belief that cow urine infuses purity. In one time I've seen more cows than I've seen in my entire life. They are also famous for cow blowing, in which forceful blowing of air into a cow's vagina is applied to induce her to produce more milk. And it certainly seems to work, even though I didn't try it out myself. Beautiful, beautiful sunset. Now it's time for a shower before going to sleep here. The Mundari's lanes are roughly 100 by 75 kilometers in size. They are numbering between 70,000 and 100,000 people. The land, like much of South Sudan, is predominantly flat and marked by occasional isolated large hills. Any crocodiles here? The low-lying land contains many rivers and lakes. The soil is predominantly clay-based, causing drainage and water retention problems. This is South Sudan. And provides a very fertile basis in support of cattle grazing. So far I'm the only one who took a cow shower today. I'm yeah. wondering if we see some other yeah. brave South Sudanese people do it. You and the locals. Yeah, my hair looks better than ever. The Mundari follow a mixture of Christian and animistic beliefs, with symbols playing an important role. This is just the place to be, my kind of place for sure. At night, music played on horns float through the camp. The people sing close to the heat of fires until they fall asleep under the stars, with the cattle just a few feet away. That was next level, blowing inside the cow's vagina to stimulate. I'm not gonna do that. I think two times cow piss in the hair is enough for today, but... <laughs> for wow. me to experience this lifestyle has been such a humbling experience. Very delicious. Very delicious. I will forever be grateful. And while the Mundari way of life faces an uncertain future, I really hope that the traditional Mundari society will remain relatively unchanged for many years to come. The situation here is unstable, but what a fascinating tribe. I've seen a lot of tribes in my time, but I've never seen one like Mundari. Have you heard about the Mundari people before? What are your thoughts about them? Please comment below. Remember to subscribe to Gus on the Go.